Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development QA manual and automation performance testing and maintenance IT staff augmentation job placement assistance and tech support does internally using and script also See, see, if you take this example for Java, so what it does is it's just executing the Java command on all the source code, right? So we're providing the destination directory for it, right? So that, that is achieved through the script, that's all. But folks, Maven, and I mean, I have personal inclination towards Maven. And, you know, there are advantages with Maven as well. Uh, when compared with AMP, right? If you want to run your test cases, right? What do we need to do? We need to, okay, so let me just go slow. So this is a Maven project, right? So you already have Maven plugin inside it. So when you want to get the Maven Napo, right? Okay, let me just start and let me show you um, creation. You already have a Maven plugin inside it. So we could go and just create a Maven project so that it, it gets the nature of the Maven and the skeleton of the project. Sorry. And it's asking. Folks, you see here, whenever you, we, we're creating a Maven project, the bundling and all that, right? We have a group and project will be an artifact. Let's say I'm, I'm creating something called an right? And an artifact is, is a specific project inside the group. Let's say everything is developed under a Apache, right? It's says formula Apache, and inside that you have log forces. It's one artifact. The Apache has Apache idols, let's say. It's it's one more artifact, right? Here I'm specifying the artifact is one. And the version, whenever this entire thing needs to be bundled, what is the tag or what is the version that you want to get? We're specifying it here. And here the package that you want to campaign. On the main, right? When I say finish, right? Just create it, project one. And if you observe, you have like SRC main Java and SRC test Java by default, which means the project, the Maven project, expects this notation. You don't have it in AND. Instead of SRC, you can have different things also. But Maven, it expects you to have your SRC, all the Java files in your SRC main Java and your test cases inside this SRC test Java. And when you want to run a test cases inside and try, right, you need to make a lot of configurations and do that. But when you want to run your test cases with Maven, what do you do? You just you have you know different goals that you could specify to Maven. If you want to compile and execute your unit test, you just say Maven test and it executes the test case. But you have to organize it in SRC test Java 
So while we're discussing with her, you just need to say MVN test, and that actually does it. So what is the con? I mean, the project object model is the form.xml file. So this is the form.xml file, and folks, we are not writing anything like you know do the compilation, search, and all this stuff. They will internally understand it depending on the goal that we are trying to execute. So first of all, you know how to create a Maven project. And as we have observed, right, if there are dependencies, right, in and we physically put it, right? So but Maven resolves those dependencies and you see it as Maven dependencies in the project. So first of all, let's see what do you need to do, right? What is Maven? Of course, it's a, it's a build script and it has some convention and practices. That's what we have just seen, the SRC main Java or SRC test Java. Those are the conventions or practices that we have to follow. And what is the benefit that we get out of it? Is it accelerates the development life cycle. When we write our script, we have to specify where your source code is and where you want to compile the classes, right? You have to write var task, specifying the destinations and all those things, right? We don't do that with Maven. We have some benefits that we get with Maven is the standardization, reusability, right? Once Maven has returned it to what, I mean, to actually compile it, to actually bundle it, right? We don't need to write that in each and every project that we do. When we do, and we do the same thing, specify the same thing, Java C in all the projects that we create, right? We, we don't need to do that in Maven. Maven internally has it, and the same thing is reused. And the dependency management that Maven provides is awesome. When we have an ant, folks, it's, it's, it's important for your interviews as well as when you become like more level of architect and take a decision on what do you want to choose, right? All these things come into picture you know there might be a need wherein you want to convince other people on your decision right the dependency management when we have to dependence on string or hibernate what do we do or any log 4g right what do we do we actually get the jar file and we put it in our project in maven right but we don't need to do that in sorry when we use and we physically get the file and keep it in our project but with Maven, we don't need to do that. What we do, we add it as a dependency. Just yes, specify J unit. The group ID is J unit. Artifact can when you specify the dependencies or when you create it. These three things are very important. I mean, these three things. Group, artifact ID, and the version. Right? So it gets the specific J unit. So when I just take off this dependency, Removed, right? You don't have any dependencies. As soon as I add the dependencies, it's getting resolved to my dependence. Right? We just add the dependency here, we don't get it. But where are we getting it from? Right? And if this way, there should be some place where it's getting it from me, right? It's called as an even repository. The repository has all those files. So with the first time when it is not present in the repository, it just downloads it. So do the Maven, uh, uh, do it will download automatically or we need to specify somewhere? No, when you specify it as, yes, we have to specify as the repository. So whenever we download the Maven, folks, you just go to this link and download Maven. We were starting using it. We have to add this Maven bin to the path variable and Maven is dependent on Java. So it means the Java home variable to understand where is your Java installed? And after the Maven installation, we create Maven Home, which is the M2 underscore home, home geometry variable here. And once you're done with it, with the download of the Maven, and once you create all these environmental variables, right? So you should be able to do MVN hyphen version. If you get this successfully, it means the Maven is properly installed in your machine. So it gives you the Maven home, the Java version, like the Java home, the repo local and all these things. So first we have to have Maven down. 
when you do this by default the repository let me so it, it will be in the m2 folder in your users in the username there will be an m2 folder that comes as by default there is a heading or xml file which we could change but usually we don't need to change it for changing the repository it goes into the dot m2 folder repository and this has all the jar files it actually you know downloads and has this jar files in this repository but let's say i don't have this i just let, let me I mean, it's getting used. I, I think I cannot delete it. But if I don't have this, right? If I, if I don't have this jar file here, this is the jar file, right? For the first time, we even actually download this and keep it here. And from there, it just returns you. If there are in multiple projects, you are using this, you don't need to have, physically have it in the project. We just, you know, use it from the repository. That's how dependencies are managed. I mean, the dependency management compiled with Angular Maven. There is no doubt to say which is best. It is Maven. And folks, if you want to like, these are the steps that we need to follow for the download. This is code download. You have a zip file, you extract it, and it's a very simple download. After that, we need to have this put it in the path variable so that you are MV and get recognized. We don't do that. What is when you say MVN, it says MVN is not recognized as an internal or external command. Maven is dependent on Java. We need to create the Java home and home variable. Where in that, we get the MVN version. For if you, if you don't have Eclipse, right? If you want to create a Mavenized project, we just use this. Here, it takes an input like, you know, the group ID, the artifact ID, right? It takes this, and this command actually creates a Maven project for us. But when you're using Eclipse, right, we don't need to worry about it. We, we could just, with few mouse clicks, we are able to create the Maven project, right, and got the default skeleton of the form.xml. So here, this is the design editor. If I want to add a dependency, right, I could go here, add the group, artifact ID, and the version, and so on. Or I could go to form.xml, and I could specify it out for here. When this specifies the overall, saying, you know, this is the group ID. When you go to the overview, you could specify the current group ID, the project name, the artifact ID, the version of it. Right? What is yes. the scope, uh, here, Neha? After the version, there is a scope. Yes. Where exactly you want this dependency? I think we have it as part of this. Where exactly you want this dependency? During the compilation? or during the runtime, or if you have the J units, the J unit dependency is only needed for your test cases, right? Okay. So we, we keep this dependency in the test so that the scope indicates the dependency is not required for your application. This is only needed for your test compilation and execution, right? So if you okay. provided like, you know, the compiler, sorry, not, not the compiler, the container, the servlet container is going to provide this for you. So there are different kind of scopes wherein we mentioned on where you need these dependencies or you know where from where you get these dependencies. Those are like the different scopes we mentioned for different dependencies. And the key elements in a form that right? The key the first element what you have is the project, it is the root, and then we have the model version. It's a Maven model version that we're using. And these three things are very important. When someone uses needs to use this, right? We specify the the group, the artifact, it's like the cost rate or you know, under which licenses we are building it is the group ID and the artifact ID is a specific project and the version of it. And the packaging, right? So to see in okay, let me do this. We have specified it as a jar, right? So for time when I want to compile it, what is the project that we have? It's Maven charge mark, right? And you have to, you know, you go to the specific folder. Right? And what do I do when I want to compile? So let me just show you different commands that we use for different things. 
So if you want to compile your application resources, use Maven compile. If you want to compile your test resources, we say Maven test hyphen compile. Right? So when I just say Maven compile, right? It actually does the compilation. But folks, when I do it for the first time, right? I'll right. It actually downloads the dependencies also. Whatever the dependencies that we say, it actually downloads the dependencies. When when I want to run the test, right? I use Maven test compile. If I want to run the test cases, right? We don't need to write any script to you know say this is the test to run this class. No, we just need to keep all the test cases in as as Java, and when we just Say name and test. It actually runs the test cases. So it actually go to test. It's running the com HTTP Maven app test. Where is it mentioned? They're not writing anything to do that, right? It has run one test, the app test, and it has given the results: errors, save, failures, and all this. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.